This video is going to teach you how to argue and explain scientifically using the CER method. And if it feels like I'm talking too quickly or the video is going too fast, remember you can always pause, you can always rewatch parts of it, do what you need to do to make sure you fully understand it. When you hear the word argument, you probably think of people yelling angrily at each other. Usually someone is right and the other person is wrong. This is more an everyday argument. So really it ends up being people just going back and forth trying to prove a point without usually having any evidence or reasoning. Now a scientific argument, on the other hand, there is no winning or losing, there's no right or wrong. In fact, scientific arguments are more like explanations. It's about showing what you know or what you've discovered and using evidence and reasoning to support it. So why do scientists argue? Science is all about asking questions about the world around you and finding answers to those questions. When scientists create an argument, they are really explaining what they know and how they know it. It's kind of like show and tell. Scientists show what they found and then they tell the evidence that they have that supports it. You'll notice the word prove is in quotation marks on this slide, and that's because scientists can't actually ever prove anything. They can just find lots and lots of evidence that supports their idea, and until another scientist can find evidence that either confirms their idea or it disproves it. So you are going to learn how to argue like a scientist this year. We are going to use something called a CER to help us with this. CER is an acronym and it stands for Claim, Evidence, and reasoning. And I will explain each of these more in the next couple slides. So the claim is the first part we're going to talk about. This is usually going to be the answer to a question or a conclusion you've made about something. It's a statement that says what you think is true. This should be a complete sentence. It should not start with yes or no or because. Um, and an example of a claim is like Minnesota has four seasons. That's a claim. Another one is the earth revolves around the sun, okay? These are all answers to questions or a statement that we believe to be true. The next part is the evidence. This is how you know your claim is right. It's gonna be the data that supports the claim. So the evidence that you could have could be numbers or graphs, or it could be observations or descriptions. Uh, there's lots of different ways that you can find evidence. You are going to need to make sure, though, that you have enough evidence and that it has to be relevant. So it actually has to be about what you're talking about. And we are going to talk much more about this as time goes on. Just know that the evidence is your data. The last part is the reasoning. It answers the question, why does this make sense? So the reasoning is going to connect the evidence with the claim by explaining the science behind it. This is where you use all of your scientific knowledge that you've learned in class or even in life to explain your argument. So let's go over an example. My claim for the example is it is almost fall. Okay, so that's the statement I am making that I believe is true. My evidence that I have that is almost fall is that the temperatures have been in the 60s and 70s recently. It's a lot cooler. The leaves are starting to change colors on the trees and there are less hours of sunlight each day. Okay, so all three of these things are my evidence that support my claim. Now my reasoning is going to try to explain how the evidence supports the claim. So I know that as we get closer to winter, the days get shorter, right? That's some science that I know. This means we have less sunlight, which signals to the trees to change color, and that also means that the temperatures are dropping. Okay, so my reasoning is all the science that I know about the seasons. My evidence is the stuff that I see or I observe. And then my claim is my statement that I believe is true. In the next few slides, I'm going to be giving you more examples of some arguments. I want you to practice identifying the claim, the evidence, and the reasoning in them. All right, here is a sample argument. The question, what shape is this? Here is my argument. Each side measures four inches and each angle measures 90 degrees on the shape. This is a square. Squares have sides that are all the same size and all of the angles are right angles. Here's another example. Who has the best delivery pizza? Here's the argument. 
The best delivery pizza is Domino's. They have a variety of toppings. They deliver fast. Their crust is buttery and garlicky. Good delivery pizza should be fast and have lots of choices. I want to note that this next argument is not true. It is completely false, but I thought I'd throw a funny one in there just for fun. So the question is, what is a coconut? And here's the argument. Coconuts are mammals. Mammals are animals that have hair and produce milk. Coconuts are hairy on the outside and have milk on the inside. Here's our last example. The question is, is the patient sick? So the doctor runs some tests and finds that the patient does not have a fever, no trouble breathing, and does not have a headache. These are usually symptoms that people have if they are sick. Therefore, the doctor determines the patient is not sick. Good job with your CER practice today. Do not worry though if this was confusing or if it was a big struggle for you. There is going to be a lot more practice to come and it will get easier, I promise.